Welcome to Mandate Trade Union, your union that promotes and fights for the interests of retail, bar and administrative workers throughout Ireland. Mandate Trade Union has a long tradition of campaigning for workers' rights. While Mandate was formed in 1994 out of an amalgamation of the Drapers and Retail and the Irish Bar Workers' Unions, its history dates back to the early 20th century. In 1901, 18 drapery workers met to discuss establishing a Drapers Workers' Union. This led to Michael O'Lahan being appointed as the General Secretary. 18 members soon became 4,000, and now Mandate is one of the largest private sector unions in the Republic of Ireland, representing 40,000 workers nationwide. The Irish Drapers Assistance Association, or IDAA, was one of the first trade unions to put women at the heart of the union. They campaigned against living in conditions, which allowed men and women to be locked inside their place of work at night. On some occasions, the employment premises would catch fire, killing the workers inside. Many members of Mandate's predecessor union played an active role in the fight for Irish independence. Patrick Moran, president of the Bar Workers Union, fought in 1916 and was executed for his role in the War of Independence. One of the union's key activists and leaders was feminist Sissy Cahillan, Sissy was a suffragette and successfully campaigned for women to be afforded the right to vote. She was also a vocal opponent of World War I and championed equal pay for women. In 1918, Sissy led a strike which won a 30% pay increase for Arnott's employees. In 1921, she became the first female president of the union and was elected to the executive of the Trade Union Congress and Labour Party. The union continued its campaigns for collective bargaining and a minimum wage, achieving major successes with the introduction of a national retirement pension, increases in annual leave and the redundancy legislation. In 1984, Mary Manning, a young Dunn Stores worker, refused to handle products from apartheid South Africa. With the support of 10 of her colleagues and after three years of strike, she managed to force the Irish government to ban all South African imports. There was more change to come. In 2004, Mandate worked to make Ireland the first country in the world to bring in a smoking ban in the workplace, saving more than 4,000 lives. In 2014, Mandate helped to launch the Right to Water campaign and forced the government to abandon imposing water charges on our members. The Right to Water campaign then evolved into the Right to Change campaign. In your union, we believe that it's only through direct actions, campaigning and organising at local and national level that workers can win the respect and decent contracts of employment. Campaigns such as the Decency for Duns Workers is supporting the changing of legislation to ensure that zero-hour contracts are banned. Together we've stopped multinational and indigenous companies from driving down wages and living conditions. Mandate has also been a pioneering progressive trade union negotiating banded hours collective agreements with employers such as Tesco, Pennies and Supervalue, to name but a few. We must build our union and build our power in both our workplace and society. We hope that you as a valued member will become active and help organise your workplace and support your campaigns. You'll be offered every resource to achieve this success, including a full range of training and education programmes. We have dedicated staff who can offer both support and assistance in organising your employments, as well as the most up-to-date communications technology, which means you'll always be kept up-to-date with news and developments in your employment. For more information, simply go to our website at mandate.ie. Together, we really are stronger.